Today I'm going to show you how to make a thumb spike a splint in less than five minutes. Here we're using a small square of material, cutting a semicircle at the top. We're going to cut a line up to what is left being the width of the IP joint of the thumb. Then we'll place the material in the warm water to soften. And when we mold the material onto the patient, we're going to place the cut side in the web space of the thumb, wrap the open edge around the IP joint of the thumb down to the CMC joint, and seal the edge. Then we'll conform the material just below the distal palmar crease, make room for the thumb, have the patient oppose the thumb to the second finger to get good palmar abduction. Once the material is hard, we can slip the splint off and trim off the excess. The material in this video is an Orphe Light, which is good for cutting when cold. It's lightweight. It's not very rigid, so I tend not to use it for post-operative or fracture immobilization, but rather for things, uh, pain conditions like CMC joint arthritis or something like a trigger thumb but the patients like the lightweight nature of it and I like the versatility of it when fabricating a splint. And once we've finished rounding the edges, we'll check for the fit. Make sure the wrist is clear, IP joint of the thumb is free to move. And then we'll add a Velcro strap. And in less than five minutes, we have a thumb spike a splint using very little material. Thanks for your time.